Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I want to teach you how to play the Taverns of Tiefenthal. Now, this is a second set of videos that I'm making for this game. I made a set of video and a uh, play gameplay video of just the base version of the game. Uh, the way this game comes in the box is it has five modules. Module one is just the base game, and so I made a set of video and a how to play the base game uh, video series already. And in this one, I'm playing with all five modules. The way these modules are designed is that if you're playing, for example, if you want to play with module four, you'd also have to play with modules one, two, and three. And so these are like a cumulative module set. I am playing with all five modules in this video. So with that in mind, I just wanted to say, yes, I'm playing with all of the modules. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is you're going to see some of my homemade storage solution stuff. For example, this little box here and the one for the signatures, these are part of my uh, do-it-yourself storage solutions. If you're interested in seeing a storage solution for this uh, that you could make yourself, go ahead and check out my website, tomteachesgames.com, where you can download the solutions for free, and I have videos on how to build them, all of that stuff. So just wanted to point that out. The other thing that I want to say is I am not going to teach you the basics of how to play this game, uh, at least not the base game. I'm going to assume, if you're watching this video, that you know how to play the base game of uh, the Taverns of Tiefenthal, that you know the basics. I'm just going to be teaching all of the module stuff in this video. So with that in mind, let's just, we can pretty much dive right in. It's uh, I mean, there's four modules worth of content here, but I think it's pretty easy to teach if somebody knows the basics. So, pretty much what we have here is the general setup and our own taverns. So, the things that are new in the uh, general area is that this is flipped to a different side because we're going to have different rewards coming uh, as time goes on, including some entertainers that we will pay with schnapps. So, we'll talk about that stuff later. But of course, as per usual, we care mostly about how to get points. Points are received the exact same way in this game as they are in the uh, base game. You're going to get points by recruiting guests to your tavern and by upgrading your taverns uh, to uh, get more equipment and stuff like that. And so the big thing here is that there are different ways to get royals. In the base game, you pretty much got royals just by upgrading your tavern and by having a lot of beer. So like if you had 9 or 14 or 18 beers, you could bring in royals that way. There are going to be some additional ways to get royals. Oh yeah, and there's also the monastery track. You can get royals that way. So there are some new ways to get royals. Let's go ahead and cover that now. So there are basically two new big ways to attract royals to your tavern. One way is with your bartender down here. And so with your bartender, we're going to be tracking reputation. And anytime you see this icon here, this cube moving forward, that means you're going to move your reputation up. And so at the end of the game, depending on where your cube is along this reputation track, you're going to earn that much reputation. But this is kind of like a circular track, and so you're going to be earning reputation, and once you get to the end of here, you will add a royal to your deck, and then this cube continues forward. So you can kind of imagine this is like a running total, and you're like banking 10 points every time you land here bank the 10 points so that you can start your track all over again. So that's one big way. If you can move your cube around that reputation track, that's going to have you uh, get royals. The other thing is we're going to have these signature books that will be up here. And anytime you recruit a regular uh, guest, so not the royals, but anytime you, you are using beer to get these guests, you're going to get a signature token with them. And so, for example, if I was to recruit this five beer guest, I would also get their signature and it would go in this five beer column right here at the top. And then the next time I get a five beer guest, I would be able to move my reputation cube up by having another signature down there. And so the reason here, let me put that up here. So the reason why that's a thing is if you fill up a whole column, you're going to be able to add a royal to your deck. And if you finish a whole row, you would also be able to add a royal to your deck. So that's going to be more ways to get royals, which is huge. There are also going to be some entertainers, and we're going to be earning schnapps. But that won't really apply to round one, so I'm not necessarily going to talk about those right now. 
but you basically know everything you need to know to start the game. Uh, we'll talk more about how to move your cube up the reputation track. Not only is it this icon here, but there's another way we'll talk about that shortly. But as I would when playing the base game or even with playing with these modules, I say let's go ahead and fill up our taverns with whatever we've got. And then we'll talk about more stuff after that. So blue player is just going to go ahead and fill up their taverns. They'll open up the door. We've got some guests coming in. Awesome, we've got a bard. So a bard is one of the new cards. Uh, they cost one coin, but the blue player actually started with them. So one of the modules is different starting conditions. And the blue player, rather than starting with the standard waitress, table, and supplier, they started with a supplier, uh, a bard, a dishwasher, and a uh, bar back is what that thing's called, I think. And so uh, they started with a bard, and bards go over here like that. Uh, okay, we got a supplier in, and we've got another guest. And I am such a dummy. I got so excited explaining things I forgot to move the round marker and pick up a customer. Of course I'll annotate. Wow, I'm glad I'm annotating so early. I honestly kind of just got so excited to play. So just like in the base game, we're going to start off with one of these. And of course I could use one of these to either move up the monastery track or to redraw, re but I feel like that wasn't a terrible draw. So we're going to accept that for what it is. We'll let the red player open their tavern and go ahead and start. So we're gonna do this. Oh, they got a bard as well. Another guest. And, ooh, an empty table, I like that. Another guest. And finally, that guest there. All right, so that was the red player. I feel like that's a pretty good start too. We got an empty table, we got our bard. I'm not gonna use this now. But let's do, go ahead. Now is the time where we roll the dice. Holy cow. Apparently, there's a lot of threes. Let's see what the blue player gets. No more threes, please, because what are we going to do with threes? I have no idea. Okay, oh my gosh, two threes. That is really crazy. So basically, somebody's going to get a six, somebody's going to get a four, and all the rest are threes. That is, ah, that's crazy. All right, blue players are starting players, so we're going to go ahead and draft dice. Again, I'm assuming you know how to play the game. Obviously, the blue player is going to want this six for beer supply, and the red player is going to want a three for no good reason at all. I won't even know what to do with any of these. So then we're going to swap these around like this. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if I should go formal on this anymore. I guess I'll go formal one more time. Uh, this three will go somewhere. Uh, I'll just say, oh, sorry, I did say this in the base video, but maybe you didn't watch that. Um, in this video, and kind of when I play, I like to plan as I draft. I don't do them as two separate phases, um, but I just acknowledge that as I'm drafting dice, I'm welcome to move them around as much as I want to, uh, up to and through my actions phase. So you'll see that rather than setting the dice aside and then planning, I like to just plan as I go. I have no clue. I'm sure this will go here. Do I even care about the difference between a three and a four? Probably not. Um, sure. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little hand waving on this because there are only threes left over. And so we've got threes here. That is, I cannot believe that happened, that's so crazy. Uh, threes here. I don't even know what to do with this three. I probably can't do anything that I can think of. I don't even have any dishwashers to make, well, fours wouldn't do anything either. <laughs> this is so funny. I literally don't even know what these threes could do over on this side if I'm, wow. I don't think they can do anything. Hmm. Well, let's jump into our action stuff. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, before you take actions, we need to do our reputation phase. This is one of the new things. So pretty much you need to count up how much gold you're gonna get and how much beer you're gonna get and take the lesser of those two numbers. So like I said, I really don't, I can't see anywhere that I can use this three. Maybe I'm missing it. I don't think I can use it. But essentially, I'm gonna be able to get one gold and I'm gonna get three beers. So the lesser between one and three is one. And I'm gonna move my, my cube onto space one. So your cube moves, not onto space one, I move it one space. 
<laughs> because you look at the lower of your coin production and your beer production. I know that's very confusing. So because I can only produce one coin, that's where that goes. All right, so I've got my production here. So I'm just moving that to remind myself that I did it. Uh, I have one coin, which I can't do anything with. So I'll store that. And I did get three beers, uh, so that's pretty good. I think I will just use those three beers in order to take one of these three beer guests. He is gonna bring his signature with him and I'll put a new signature right there. Let's bring, oh my gosh, why am I struggling? It's so hard. Okay, so we've got a signature in the three column. We're gonna put that right there and we will put him face down right uh, on top of our draw pile. And that was the end of the blues first turn. All right, the red player uh, can't use these at all. That is, I cannot believe, why am I saying that over and over? That's worth this. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. This is not supposed to be like that. I better annotate that. I'm a fool. Okay, so I'm gonna produce one coin and one beer this round. So the lower of one and one is one. There's that. I do have my bard, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that reputation. <laughs> I'm just gonna do some storage, I guess. One coin, one beer, and that's exciting. Let's go ahead and clean up. Should have cleaned up the blue player while we were over there. I just, uh, I think I, I, I did just wake up from a nap. I don't think that I did, and my brain is still a little foggy but that's okay. I think I'm still a good person. I think we can still have fun. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on to round two and each player is gonna get one of these entertainers. Now, when you get an entertainer, you need to decide which side is gonna go up in front of you and you can choose either side. And so let's talk about what these do. <clears throat> so schnapps is gonna be a third resource. We have coins, we have uh, beer, and now we're gonna have schnapps. If you put this side up, you can put as many schnapps as you want, and for each schnapps you put here, you're gonna get two coins. For this one, you're gonna spend two schnapps as many times as you want, and for two schnapps, you're gonna get three beers. Now, each player gets to decide how they wanna do this, but for, purpose, but for purposes of this video, I'll probably try to have each player pick different sides just so you can see them at work. So I think where the red player has a, a good beer storage, let's go for the beer version, and the blue player will have them do the coins version of this. So these go right in your tavern. And I put them like, we're going to end up with three of these. So I put one, two, three, kind of like that. And again, once you pick, once you, once you pick a side, it's going to stay there the rest of the game. And because we crossed this one schnapps marker, we're going to each get one of those. So let's store those somewhere. Let's put them down here. And uh, we'll go ahead and pass the first player marker and we are officially ready for the next round. So let's go ahead and fill up our tavern. So we've got a guest, a guest, and a guest. All right, not stellar. I could, I think I will. I'm gonna discard this because I don't love that and that way I can get everything reshuffled in. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard that customer so that I can shuffle and redraw and hopefully get some more good stuff going on. I'm gonna to try to have the red player as much as possible focus on beer production. I didn't produce as much beer as I wanted to in the base game, and so I'd really like to see if that can happen. So, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we've got that, that, and okay, good, I got a bard. And I've got, oh, I guess, okay, that wasn't that much better, but maybe in my brain, next round will be a little nicer. Okay, let's open up the doors over here. We've got a guest. We knew we were gonna have that one because we just bought him. We've got a waitress, that's awesome. We've got a guest. We've got a guest. Uh, Yeah, let's keep that. So with that, let's roll the dice. Give him really good rolly. Okay, two ones, a five, and a six. Definitely different than tons of threes. Okay, come on, no threes, no threes. Wow, okay, so a three, four, five, five. All right, red player is starting the draft. What do I want? I guess a three and a four won't do me much good. A three would be good for the blue player though. I kind of want to keep that away from them if I can. Um, 
but a three could distract him. I could take a five. Yeah, let's take, let's go with a bunch of fives maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's take that five. I think blue would definitely like the ones and sixes uh, of these options. So let's take the one, because at least, well, yeah. I don't think that it matters if I take a one or a six right now, other than the ones could also be used up here. So it's good to have those. Oh, and I did forget, oh my gosh. Like I said, I still have nap brain. Okay, I've got this four too. Neat, I don't even know where that's gonna go. We'll find out. And let's do a quick swap here. Let's grab this five and we'll get this three. Swap those around. Let's take another five. I haven't really focused on monastery super strongly in the past, but maybe today's the day. Uh, let's take a, well, like I said, let's take the one because the one could be used up here. So if I stop that from the red player having that, that's neat. And then we'll swap. Six is going to go down here because we can't put it up there. And this four will probably go here and we've got that one there. So the reputation phase. I'm not getting any coins this round and so I won't move my reputation marker at all. I am going to get one beer and so I'll just add that to my storage there. I will get a reputation and that's going to earn me a schnapps token. So let's put that here. And oh, I should point out when you're counting your reputation, you pretty much just look at dice spaces and at cards like your bards and your bar back. Um, but you don't count things like your entertainer when considering how many beers you're getting. Um, but for the heck of it, why don't we go ahead and spend these two schnapps in order to add one, two, three. I've got the storage for it. So let's add to our storage. Um, well, I don't even know if I need to add to the storage. Why don't I recruit? Huh? I've got five beers. Let's spend those five beers. I'm just grabbing this guest right here. We're going to take that one back and refill like that. Okay, let's bring this guy back. Uh, okay, so we got a signature on the five column and then this guy will go on top like that. And then we're going to move up three times on the monastery track. So one, two, three. And when we do that, we're going to get a bar back. So he's going to go face up right here. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay about that. So let's check our reputation. So this is going to be four, five beers earned. And then, uh, oh, four coins earned. Wow, that's really good. So the lower of five and four is four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I'm going to gain a schnapps and a signature. Let me, I'm just reaching way over there. Okay, so we've got a schnapps, got a signature, uh, and oh, this signature can go anywhere that I want it to go, but it does have to go top to bottom. Let's go, it's gonna be harder, obviously, to get these high beer people, so let's put it right there. Cool, okay, uh, next up. So I've got a total of three, four, five money if I wanted to, six, seven if I really wanted to. And I kind of do like that idea. Well, I'd really like a table, I love tables. So I think I'm gonna spend five of that to get a table. And uh, let's store the other two coins for now. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I think I, think I did that right, hopefully. So that was my coins. And then I've got five beers. Um, okay, so for five beers, let's take, let's take this one. All right. So, okay. So let's take this guy. We're gonna get a one-time effect of picking up one of these bar backs as well. And those will go face down here. That was a five beer guess, so that signature is gonna go right there. So let's do a little cleanup. I don't, when I did the base game, I was very good at cleaning up as soon as I used my actions. For some reason, I've not been so good right this second, but that's okay, because I mean, technically in the rule book, you all clean up after everyone's done their actions, so it doesn't matter that much. I'm just curious about myself. 
All right, so round three, we each get a new entertainer. Let's talk about these. And again, I'll probably have each player pick something different so we can see the differences. Uh, so this entertainer, you can spend five schnapps to upgrade one of your pieces in your tavern, but you don't get a royal when you do that. And for this one, it's gonna be two schnapps to be able to call out some of your guests. Uh, let's go this way, I suppose. Yeah, we'll give the red player this one. Again, we're just trying to see examples of things happening. And then we will uh, send this to the blue player like that. So let's go ahead and fill up the blue player's tavern here. So we've got a guest, which we knew. We've got um, a bar back. We've got a table. Wow. We've got, I knew that though. It's a little tricky playing two players. I kind of forget what I have and what I purchased. <laughs> so. Okay, cool, we got another bar back. We got another guest. We are empty, so now we need to go ahead and shuffle stuff up. And let's see what we get. Okay, next up. Cool, we got a bard. We've got a beer supplier. I feel like we've had that every round, it feels like. All right, so we got that. Cool, that's a pretty good phase for their blue player. Red player seems to be straggling a little bit. I think those threes really threw me off. Um, let's see here. We got that, that, and next up. Okay, good. Table, a guest, and a guest. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and roll our dice. Okay, so we've got fours, fives, okay. And we got these rolls. Mm, all right. Well, looking at that, I do think, oh man, there's good stuff there. A four is great. A four is great, but I also want that six. There's this, oh, there's a bunch of very good dice right now. It's just a matter of what to take when. I don't think the red player is going to take the four because there's the only reason to take the four would be to take me off and sure that's an option, but. I don't know if I have that in mind. I definitely want this five right here. Let's swap those two now. Uh, okay, good, we've got this four, or do I want a six? Because there's still the four over there that the red player probably won't take because there's no reason for them to take it. So maybe I do take this six instead. And yeah, I mean, I could take that four to be mean, um, but I don't want to like hold on to fours for no reason when I can take a uh, two, for example. So let's swap those out. Wow, I feel like the blue player's having a great round. <laughs> that didn't happen in my base game video. The blue player really struggled. Kind of like crawling up that monastery track. Okay, and then we swap. I don't quite know what to do with that four. I'll, I'm gonna try to even out my beer and money production. So that's four. That's four, so it can go either way, money or beer. Mm, I might change my mind. Let's put it there for now. Oh, because I do have a lot of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. And this three, uh, I probably want to produce at least one beer to move myself at least one on the reputation. Oh, I do have that, so it'll be two. Okay. Sorry, all of a sudden I've got the hiccups. Sometimes I get the hiccups when I record because I'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of breathing. All right. Let's check our production. So we've got five money coming in, or we have uh, six beers coming in, because that's four, five, six. So lower between five and six is the five. So one, two, three. Now I can call a guest or gain a schnapps. I'm gonna call a guest. Let's get rid of this one back in the box. Okay, so what was I? One, two, three, four, five. All right, neato. So I do have five money. Um, I love tables. I'm gonna grab a table, so let's just do that. So for five money, we got, oh, I do have six, seven. If I wanted to, ah, let's just hold on to that money for later, probably. No, let's spend the two money and get a bar back. That'll be great. Okay, and then I've got uh, four, five, six. Oh, I can move my reputation once to get a royal and this will just keep circling around 
Um, so what did I have? I have six beers. Uh, okay, so for six, oh, this will be great. For six beers, we're taking this fella, or ma'am, madam, whatever. Okay, so we've got that one. And her signature is gonna go on the six column, which just barely finished the top uh, row, so we do get another royal for that. Wow, that was awesome. And then I'm gonna remember to clean up and that's kind of fun. All right, yeah. Okay, so red is struggling. We've got two beer. We do have seven money, so the lower of those two is two. And um, what do I wanna do first? Let's do the monastery first. So we're gonna move up here. That earns me a dishwasher. And let's see, with two beers, can't do anything with that, so let's just put that into storage. And then we've got seven money. Uh, let's go with, I'm gonna go with a table and a bar back. I just love those cards, and I know that I should be playing those two players differently, but I really like those both. So we're gonna go for those because I want to. And we didn't get any schnapps that round, and that is okay. All right, that's the end of round three. So round four, we each get a customer back. The blue player hasn't used theirs yet, so that's kind of fun. We do need to pass this over. And let's go ahead and open up the doors and see what happens. All right, we got our bar back. We got a table coming next, right? Yeah. Then we've got our dishwasher. Okay, I'll try to, I always forget to use those. We've got um, a guest. Now we need to shuffle these ones up. And, oh, let's see. Shuffle these up. Here we go. What do we got? A guest. It's our five guests. I think I like that person a lot. And that's it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep that. Let's see what the blue player gets. Oops. Oh yeah, we're going to have a couple of royals, but they're going to all sit together, so that's nice. And yeah, that one's our other royal there. And we got our bar back. Oops. And a table. And a waitress. And a guest. And a guest. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and roll the dice. So we've got a four, and we've got, why am I struggling? I just need to get those over there. That was, oh, uh, what is that? I think that was a five. I don't know why that was harder than it needed to be. And we'll roll these dice. Okay, let's see, what are we keeping? Oh, I don't have a five yet, but I really want a five. I like fives. Twos and threes are whatever. Uh, okay, I guess I'll take a two. Ooh, okay, probably keeping the six, I would guess. Okay, and then, oh, it's so awkward around this tripod. Okay, there's that. Awesome, because we did want a five, and they want, a, I guess, ooh, do I just take a two? At least I can do something with it. Then we're gonna switch those out. Hey, a three and a four are not stellar over here. We'll just, oh, but I do have this. Ooh. Well, hmm. Probably gonna use that right there, I think. Yeah, that feels okay to me. Let's put a one down here, and then there's both threes, so we'll just keep it. Try to even out, or at least get a few more beers all right, let's see. So we've got this, uh, we'll go three and the four right there, I suppose. Sure. Okay, I really want to, I don't know why, I just have this desire to keep moving up that monastery track. So I am gonna, for better or worse, we're just gonna discard that. And we're moving up twice. So that's gonna get me a schnapps. And cool. All right, so I've got seven money and two beers, so I'm just going for the two, so I get a signature uh, for moving up the reputation. 
let's, I don't know, let's try going the column route here. So I'm going to put that there. That's going to let me move up the reputation one more. Uh, I do have four beers all together. Not sure what I would do with four beers. There's no guests. So like the guests, well, I'll show you. The guests are six, eight, seven, seven, and three. So I think I'm just going to save those beers. I mean, I have this upgrade. I might as well use it, I suppose. All right, so there's that taken care of. So now I've got seven coins. I think, oh, I've got eight if I want it. Let's get, um, hmm, for eight coins. What do I want to do with eight coins? Let's... Let's store one of them, and then I'm going to get a beer supplier. I, like I said, in theory, I was going to really get a bunch of beer here for the red player, and I haven't done much to push that along. All right, that's the red player. The blue player, what do we got? We've got one, two, three beers coming in, and a bunch of money. So that's going to be three, one, two, three on the reputation track, which will get me, got to reach over, a schnapps. Uh, if I want to, I could convert that into two money. Again, that doesn't go towards your reputation count. Um, all right, so we've got eight money. Uh, one, two, three, three beers. Apparently threes are a thing this game, so I'm going to go ahead and take one of these three dudes. So that's going to go here. And that was this stuff. Uh, all right, our money, we've got nine money. That's kind of fun. I think with nine money, I'm going to store one of it. I'm going to send this waitress back to the main supply, and we're going to flip this one over, which will earn me a royal. I'm trying to learn lessons from my base game uh, blunders. And so that was that. Let's get them cleaned up a little bit. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, things are looking pretty good for the blue player. All right, next up, we get our last type of entertainer. So let's talk about what these do. So on this side, once per turn, you can spend a schnapps to save a card that's already out, put it on top of your discard pile. And then this one over here is one schnapps lets you pick a side that you want. Wow, I don't know who gets what. Let's let's go like this. And let's just pass the first player token over that way. All right, here we go, blue player. Okay, we knew we had a royal. We got a guest. And ooh, another guest. I did not like that. Okay, we're going to discard this token in order to do that again, because that was crap. So we're going to go here. <laughs> wow, this might not be any better. And oh my gosh, come on. And let's cut once. Hopefully it's something good. No, no, that's not good. Ooh. I think I'm allowed to do this. I don't, like, if I've got a guest, I think I could discard her to do that one more time. That's just crappy. Blue player has such good stuff out there. There's no reason for me to settle for crap. All right, let's do that again. Okay, we've got a bard, a royal, a guest. Oh, my gosh. Apparently, I need more tables or something. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's open up stuff over here. Okay, great. A supplier. All right, that's looking good beer-wise. A table. Wow, this is looking really good. Okay. Oh, and in theory, I should have known that stuff was there. <laughs> it's been a few minutes. I got distracted. True story. I got distracted because there was a woodpecker pecking at my door. Or like on the side of my... I'm going to post the video to Twitter really soon. All right, we got that. This is looking better for red than it was before. So that's making me happier. Okay, we're going to go ahead and roll some dice. Of course, we got some threes. Let's see, blue player, i got to remember I have a waitress over here. Um, okay, so we got <laughs> threes, of course. A one and a two, and a four. 
Not sure what to do with my four. We'll find out. But I could, oh, this, this thing happens now. Well, no, this happens during the planning phase. You could spend your thing to uh, change the side. Yeah, that happens during the planning phase. And this one, again, that happens during the, the um, cleanup phase. So just reminding you about our new entertainers that we've got here. Okay, um, two, uh, I guess I probably want this three because the one would just be worth one beer this time, which is, you know, that's okay. I think we'll definitely nab that six. Go ahead and flip those around. Uh, ooh, twos or threes, I guess we take a, another two, take a two. And let's take this one. Well, do I take that one? Hmm, I guess so. Uh, if I get a lot of beers, I could get, yeah, let's do take the one. I could get some good guests, I suppose. I don't know, kind of wanted that two to get some money. Hmm, not sure. So the blue player is going to have a chance to change any die that they want to if I spend that schnapps to do that. And we're going to be stuck with some threes because we'll have that three there. And then we'll get this last three. I'm going out of turn order a little bit right here. Okay, so we are at the planning phase right now. Let's do spend this schnapps in order to change any one die to any number. Uh, not exactly sure what number I want. I could put it, yeah, let's make this a, a six, I suppose. Fine. All right, so here we are with the blue player. Uh, we are all planned out. I did that just barely. Let's go ahead and move our reputation up one. Oh, we're getting two beers and a lot of money. So two beers, one, two. That's going to get me a signature. Oh, pardon my reach. And where do I want to put that signature? Uh, oh, let's put that signature right here to move our reputation up three. One, two, three. That's going to let me cull a guest or get a schnapps. I'm going to pick up a schnapps. So to cull a guest, they can't have a die on them, but I could spend the die first to do that. But I really want to get rid of the ones, not the twos. So yeah, that's the choice I'm making there. Okay, so two beers, can't do anything with two beers, so we'll store those. And now I've got seven, got seven money. What am I doing with seven money? Well, I was short on tables, right? So let's, oh, I've got eight money if I want it. Hmm, let's stick with the seven money. And I'm going to get a table and a bar back. All right, we're going to clean that stuff up. All right, so we're producing five, six beers, but only <laughs> only one coin. Wow, I'm so slow at this. Uh, do I call someone? I think I do. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of that one there. I don't want that there anymore. All right, um, one coin. Oh, I guess I have three coins all together. All right, I'm going to get a bar back for two of those coins, so... And, oh, do you know what? Let's buy a bar, a bar, a bar, a bard. That'll be fun. And then I'm going to use that bard there to gain a reputation. And, um, okay, so what have I got? I had one, two, wait, four, five, six. Six beers. Let's go ahead and take this one here. This is going to have some immediate effects, so let's uh, bring this one back. Oh, yep, got it. All right, so we got a signature in the six column up there. We're going to gain a bard, and we're going to gain a dishwasher. And then we'll gain this card. All right, that was the end of that. We'll do a quick little cleanup here. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Struggling, I wonder how many... Hope you're playing your drinking game where I talk about how much I'm struggling today. You'd be pretty drunk by now. Next up, uh, the players are going to choose to get a bar back and or use a personal die and, and an extra one this round. I think the red player is going to get a bar back. And the blue player, let's have them get an extra die. Pass this over. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the doors. Oh yeah, we knew that. And we're going to have a whole bunch of cards that we already know coming up. So we got our dishwasher. 
we've got our bard, we've got another bard, we've got our bar back, and we're going to shuffle these up. And don't want to spend forever doing this. Okay, here we go. So, some interesting context that it's probably not interesting at all. I'm kind of snowed into my house. It's Thanksgiving break. Huge storm hitting Utah right now. Um, it's recommended we don't really leave because the roads are pretty bad. And I, uh, a couple rounds ago, heard... Did I mention this? Oh, I did mention this. Uh, a woodpecker outside? Yes, I did talk about this because I'm going to put it on Twitter. I am now hearing a cow outside of my window. My neighbor has cows. I'm wondering if one escaped. I might need to go check that out. Let's finish drawing, then I'll go look for the cow. Because uh, it's it's closer than it should be. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, tons of good stuff happening out here. Okay, that's awesome. Oh yeah, another table. Okay, red is finally, finally getting some good stuff. Oh yeah, the investments hopefully were worth it. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to just need to get a bunch of money to get my reputation. Oh yeah, fun stuff. Okay, I did go look. I am hearing a cow, but I'm not seeing a cow. So maybe he's still on his side of the pasture and I'm just being sensitive or something. I have no idea. All right, what are we doing? Oh yeah, this is looking pretty good. Royal guest. Uh, did I get that reward? Oh, I think so. As per usual, I'll annotate when I've made very stupid mistakes. Okay, let's see. Man, this is going pretty good. Pretty good for both players this round. This is a great round. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, of course, it will... Oh, my gosh. Tons of bar. I don't remember getting this many. Holy cow. Okay. Wow. That was a rough round last round, but this is looking great. Very nice. Okay. I love it. I love it a lot. Let's go ahead and roll these dice. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Roll these dice. Okay, wow. All right, what are we doing? I have no idea. Uh, we are going to take a four. We're taking a four and probably turning into a, f well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the blue player takes. I think the blue player definitely wants this six here for sure, because they have another six coming their way they could put down here. So we're going to swap those out. Uh, I guess I could keep this six away from the player, but I'd really like this five, because I could use this five a couple different places. Let's probably go there. I'm going to nab that six, swap these out. Okay, probably putting the four here using that to make it a five. And I don't know, I've got lots of beers up here. The four or the six, that is a tough call. Oh, well, I got these to consider too. So I've got a four, I do have a six. So I guess I take, I guess I take the six. Swap that out. Hmm, that leaves me with a four that I'm not sure what to do with. I'll have to count things out, probably there. Oh, I forgot to spend my schnapps last time. Nah, maybe we'll do it this time. Who knows? So this two, not totally sure it's going there with the money, but probably looking at how much beer. Wow, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a little bit crazy. Okay, so I need to count up. I gotta count stuff up. What have we got? Oh, we got three and three. Sorry, that's so, or four. We have three bards and four barbacks. Okay. So my beer production is five. My money is a lot more. Uh, so I'm getting five. So one, two, three, four, five. That got me a schnapps. That got me a uh, royal. Um, all right. And then from there, we're going to move our reputation. One, two, three. And that got me a signature. Let's put my signature here because I would definitely like to keep that reputation moving if I can. Uh, you've got, um, oh, ooh, how much beer have I got? I got 
five plus four, I'm at nine. Do I spend those on a royal or do I spend those on an expensive person? I think, oh, here's what I wanna do. Yeah, okay, so I've got nine all together. I'm gonna spend eight of them. Let's bring these back over. Uh, yeah, spend eight of them to bring this guest in because uh, she's got some cool one-time abilities. All right, and uh, that's going to let me move up three on my reputation track. So one, two, three, I can either get a schnapps or I can get a um, coal somebody. Let's get rid of this. I don't want that guest anymore, they're stinky. Okay, <laughs> and then I'm gonna gain a waitress and then I'm gonna be able to move up on the monastery track. And while I'm here, I'm moving up the monastery track again. So that's a royal there, and that's because I used that die. Um, I've got four, nine, nine money. Okay, I'm gonna definitely get a supplier, and I'm going to save one of those monies, and I want, I want another one of those barbacks. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so there's that. Do a little cleanup. Oh, did I want to spend these three to get another? Yeah. Mm. Should I save something? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm going to spend one of these to save this guy here right or do i want the table i think i'm going to go for the table i just want to make sure that i have a table i love those tables all right we're going for that that'll be fun okay i think i've got life figured out <laughs> probably not I haven't been upgrading things i should be there's so much to think about i'm having a hard time okay what the heck is the blue player doing all right so they've got six seven eight nine ten beers They've got 12 money, so this is going up 10. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, we'll put that there, 10. Wow, okay, that was crazy. Things are really crazy right now. Um, so what was that? That was six, 10 beers. I think, cause this is the, we're getting close to the end-ish. I'm gonna use nine of those to get a royal. Oops, wrong spot. And, oh, nine. So I still have three if I wanted to do anything with three. Let's get, let's just get one of these three guys. Cause at least that's a signature. I like that, okay. Um, what am I doing? Oh, this needs to go here, which means I'm getting that, and he's going there, and I used up all of that beer. That was so crazy. Uh, I spent those. Sure. And then I've got 12 money. Do I want to do anything uh, with my schnapps? Okay, ooh, I could upgrade. How many tables have I got? I've got three tables and 12 money. I can make it 14 money, 15 money. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend all of my money and these two schnapps to utilize this right here because for that 15, I'm gonna be able to upgrade my tables. I like that. And I didn't have to lose any tables for it. I could have, but then I probably just would have bought them back because I love tables. All right, go ahead and flip this thing over like that. Ooh, that's very fun. I'm feeling very fun about that. But I've made a mess. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Okay, slide this over here. And then bring these over. And let's go ahead and fill up our taverns. Oh my gosh, so many fun things. Okay, so we've got guest, bar back, Royal or noble, noble or royal, I don't care. 
All right, we got that. Now we're gonna shuffle this whole pile of goody goodness. And let's, oh my gosh, come on. I don't know why. I feel like my hands are doing such weird things with these shuffles right now. Sure, something like that. Okay, so now we keep flipping. Sweet. Yes. Okay. Yes. I do not remember getting all of these. That is so funny. Where did they come from? I have no idea. All right. That's the end of that. All right, the red player is going to open up shop. Yes, table. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is good. Okay, now we're into the. Oh no, I think I knew. I think I knew all of these. <laughs> I, I can't. It's been about a half an hour. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, I've hardly gotten a waitress, or I haven't been thinking about the waitress a lot. Ooh, I'm gonna move a blue die over. Okay, and a royal, and a guest, and a dishwasher that I'll forget to use, and a guest. Okay, not terrible, not terrible. All right, what am I doing? I'm rolling some dice. <clears throat> okay, bunch of twos it looks like. And let's roll these dice. Okay. All right, what are we taking? Um, hmm. I'm gonna say probably guess that three? Do I want that three or those ones? I got tons of beer production. I got to match my my money with that. Ooh, I don't know if I want the four or the five, but I do have a five coming over here soon. So let's definitely take the four for now. Swap these around. Hmm, don't love these numbers, but more money would be good. I should have upgraded this guy a long time ago, but I never did. I'm a fool. Uh, okay, that's okay. So we've got, well, we've got this two here. We've got this five. Something like that, probably. Swap. Uh, let's nab the one for down here. And let's take, let's take this five and use that to make it a six. Swap. Let's see, I've still got this four. Oh, duh. A four, and uh, oh, what am I doing? And a two. That looks like it worked out pretty nicely. If I throw this one down here, it's probably a pretty good idea. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so the blue player is getting, what is this? Uh, three, five, seven, eleven coins, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beers, so one. Uh, let's grab a one of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Okay, that's very cool. A guess. What am I doing? Well, what was that? Eleven. I could make that thirteen coins. What would I do with thirteen coins? I could upgrade stuff. Absolutely. Um. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to, well, let's get beer first. Yeah, let's get beer first. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I already knew that. Uh, seven beers. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. I want, oh no, do I wanna move my reputation three or get a table? I really want a table next round. Oh man, that's a tough call. Mm, oh, I can get a table. Okay, we're going to take this one. Uh, yeah, so let's set up a new guest here. Okay, yeah, we're going to take this one. Uh, oh, I should really get a six at one of these points. That's okay, because when I put this here, I'm going to get a table. And I'm going to move my reputation one, two, three, which gets me a signature. And with that signature, uh, let me grab it. I'm going to put that signature right here. That'll get me another schnapps. And that will get me another royal. 
cool. Okay, I'm having so much fun right now that I'm probably not doing a great job videoing, but I'm having fun. Okay, so that was, that was all, how many did I have? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and it was seven. Yeah, and I spent all of them. Okay, perfect. Um, now I'm going for money. Why did I do that first? I There was a reason, I can't remember. Oh, I do remember. It's because I wanted to, oh, I wanted to upgrade this. Yes. Whichever order, I don't think that it mattered. Okay, so I had, uh, how much money? Oh, I was going to spend these two to get me up to 14 money. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and discard this to make this uh, 13. And I've got one left over. I think I did that right. Probably not. Because I have been known to make mistakes. But... Because I did that upgrade, I'm going to gain a royal. Make sure I get myself that. Wow, I'm struggling again. Hey, struggling. Drink. Okay, royal. To be ready for the next round. Oh, and I did have this extra schnapps. What would I do if I had two more money? Uh, oh, how about this? I'm going to spend that schnapps to get... Oh, I just did it without saying to get that. Yeah. Okay, sure. That's great. Okay, so I've got four, five beer coming in, and I've got not, I have more money than that. So one, two, three, four, five. Sweet. Okay, now let's start with the monastery. I'm going to discard this. I'm going to move up twice on the monastery. I should have upgraded that guy a long time ago. Not sure how totally useful this is going to be, but it would be nice to have the waitress for the next round might as well so that'll go right there on top all right i've got five beer uh if i could get a three or a four beer oh i've got six hmm i'm just saying if i could fill that row i'd get i get a royal so that would be good a three or a four i've got five six if i need it let's take let's take this four that'll be two victory points that could be a good thing Oops. Okay. Oh my gosh. I've just made, I've just made a mess. Of course. Hey, drink. Okay. So this is going here. That goes there. That's a royal. Oh yes. That like that. Right? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. My brain is a little bit confused. Uh, okay. So that was four. So I have one left over. That was just these here. Plus I can save one more. Right? Right. Okay, um, next, I've got six money. Ooh, tough call. Do I do this or do I upgrade to get it? Yeah, we're behind on the royals, I think. So I'm going to upgrade this for six money. I think I had one. Ooh, I should have thought about that to get a royal. Okay, I think that's what we're doing. I had one schnapps so I could save one thing. Let's save a table. Yes, let's save a table. Okay, cool. I think that's what we're doing. I don't know. Feels like there's lots of lots of good things to do, which I like, obviously, in any game. Neat, neat, neatness. Okay. Oh, here, we'll do that. Last round, we can gain a table or a supplier. I think I'm going to go for a table for both of them. Though, I mean, the, the thing about the supplier is you got to have the right dice. If you have the right dice, that's awesome. But if you don't, that sucks. All right, let's just see how this plays out. Start flipping the table we just got. The table. Oops. Yeah, our royals. Nobles. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I don't... Sorry. I'm sure that's going to drive people crazy. Okay, so we've got our waitress. Let me not forget that. We've got... A guest. Awesome. A supplier. Shuffle some stuff up. Wow, this is a big deck of cards. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> What's up next? It is. All right, fine. And 
Okay, not stellar, but I'm kind of stuck with it. All right, blue player table. Awesome. Royal, royal, guest, table, noble. I don't care. I, I'm, well, I say I don't care. Clearly, I do because I won't shut up about it. And I got that. Wow, blue's got a lot of those. Are they going to win this one? Blue doesn't win that often. Table. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay. Next up. All right. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Um, cool. Oh, I should have. Well, this thing isn't going to do much. Is it worth it to redraw everything? No, I got so many tables. Yeah, we're just going to keep it. Okay, I do have my waitress over here, though. Okay. Um, put these over here. We got that somewhere. And then we got these. Okay. So... How do we get royals? That's the big question. Do I go for money to upgrade stuff? Do I go, can I get, I don't think I can get enough beer. There's not enough ones and sixes out there. Let's see, four, five, six. Hmm, yeah, I don't think I can, I don't think I can do it with beer. So how else can I do it? Hmm, I'm not feeling it. This guy's not going to help me out really any. Uh, I have not been upgrading the way that I should have been. Okay, so the five, probably not, because that I can't get to a royal by moving on the monastery track at this point. A one would be fine. I don't have a three up there, which is surprising, but I do have a two. A one could be beer, but again, I don't think the beer is going to do well. Beer could help me get somebody, which will be points. All right, let's do let's do that. And for all of these people, none of them are a four. That is that is amazing, actually. Um, Wow, and I don't have any schnapps to do that. That's too bad. Okay. Wow, I really don't know what to do. I guess a two? Sure. Wow, this is messy. <laughs> Drink. Oh, let's swap these around. Okay, four. Yeah, I could use fours for sure. I'd like that five. Okay, and then let's swap much as I can. Okay, swap. Hmm. I guess a two. Hmm. Not loving it. I cannot believe I don't have any fours up there. That's bananas. Um. Hmm. Well, I could maybe get a guest, which would be a signature. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can have three beers, yeah, that'll be good. Swap these around. That is good to get that four and the three. That's good too. Okay. So I'm producing uh, two beers. <laughs> Not great. All right. So two beers and a bunch of money. So one, two, that does get me a schnapps. But I can't really do anything with the one schnapp, so that's too bad, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, so I do have four beers, so let's do grab this four beer person. At least that's two points, so that's a positive thing there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put that, obviously I have to put that there. I'm going to be short of getting one more royal. That's too bad. All right, so that was my four beers. And, oh, I still have this two here. So, um, what is that, six? So that's 12. So I should upgrade this for 12 money, right? I think that's the right call. Because if I upgrade that for 12 money, that's going to be a royal. And I think that's going to be the end of the red player's game right there, I think. So they'll... Do a little cleanup. I guess it doesn't matter how I clean that stuff up. Uh, because, yeah, we're just going to count points after this. Okay, so I've got one, two, three beers that I will use to get this three beer guest. 
And that's gonna fill up that full column, which gets me a royal. Uh, oh, I forgot to do, did I do that over there? I think I did, so that was three. So one, two, three. Uh, I guess I'll pick up a schnapps. I can use that to get two coins. Maybe that will be useful. So two, three, four, nine, 10, 11, 12. What can I upgrade? Let's see, upgrading, it uh, doesn't matter, I guess. Well, does it matter? Yeah, if I upgrade this six one, oh, and I do have a seventh. Okay, so upgrade that for six. I had 12 money plus this one here. So uh, that got me a royal and I still have seven coins left over. So for seven coins, I can upgrade this thing. Yeah, and another royal. I think blue won this one. Wow, red player totally kicked butt last time, but I think if I did everything right, blue's gonna have this one in the bag. All right, let's go ahead and count up points. Okay, I like to make groups of 10. So, well, we've got all of our royals here. And then we got three, <laughs> wow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we've got, making a mess. <laughs> Drink. Okay. I don't even know if you can see what's happening. Okay, so we've got, where are we? Six down here, plus these three, that's gonna be nine. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 39. 139 points for blue. I do think that's gonna be very tough to beat, but we will attempt. All right, what have we got? One, two, three, eight, nine, 10, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, oh no. Uh, okay, how would we do that? That was nine. Okay, so that's 10. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, there's no way. Uh, eight plus another three. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 91. And the blue player totally kicked butt on that one. Wow, total role reversal here. Nice job to the blue player. Uh, that's cool. Anyway, that was my game of Taverns of Tiefenthal with all of the modules included. I hope it was pretty fun to watch. It was definitely fun to play. So just some final thoughts. I think base game Taverns is good. Good, okay, it's good. But as soon as you play the base, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't throw all of the modules in next. I don't think you need to go one at a time. I don't think they're overwhelming. I think they fit in so seamlessly that once you've played the base, that's the way that this game is supposed to be played. I said this in my base game video in my final thoughts, but I'll say it again here. The one thing that I feel like is missing, and, and this is because Quacks of Quedlinburg has become one of my favorite games to bring to anybody. I think this game could have had a press your luck mechanism that would have worked so seamlessly, I think. And I'd have to play test it, of course. This is just me rattling off the top of my head and I wanna try it. But I think it would have been so easy to fill up your tables and at that point you could keep pressing your luck. So you choose to keep drawing if you want to. If you draw a guest that doesn't have room, then in my opinion, you would discard that guest, and I don't know how you do this, but so discard the guest that you just drew. They're so angry, they start yelling because they don't have a, any place to sit. So you would have to discard that guest, and maybe your last guest, or maybe your highest guest, or something like that, would also have to leave as well. 
So you're not like super dire, like it's not the worst pressure. Like that's why I like quacks of Quedlinburg. If you lose, if you bust, it's not the worst thing in the world. So yeah, fill up your tables with your guests and you could choose to keep drawing. And heck, if you draw another table, awesome, you're gonna have more space. But as soon as you draw a guest that you don't have room for, some kind of a simple consequence like your last guest also leaves, so that's not an option there. Not the end of the world, but could be fun. Uh, or maybe some other consequence. I don't know what, what it would have to be. Um, so that is that is the one thing that just because I love Quacks so much and it's the same designer, and I know this is a different game, but that's such a fun part of Quacks. I think this game could have used something like that. But other than that, I think it is so fun. Again, with all of those, uh, all of the modules in there, it does give you so many places to go, so many things to think about and different uh, uh, strategies to spread things out. Um, for some reason, I just wasn't on my game for, for upgrading. I should have, knowing I was kind of going on the on this board, I should have upgraded him as soon as possible. Just with the camera and two people, I wasn't thinking about it. Anyway, wow, that's a fun game. I like this game a lot. Uh, don't know that it's in Quack's territory for me, but this was definitely very enjoyable because probably my two favorite mechanisms in games right now are deck building and dice drafting. I love those. So this has both. It was a really fun way to see it. Love the artwork, all that stuff. Only good things to say uh, with the, I wish there was this variant for Press Your Luck. I'm gonna try that out next time I play this game. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will go start editing this and get it uploaded. All right, have a good night, bye.